Could be worse. I could be dead. Shoot. You've been to Gadara. You've seen the exiles there. They used to be with us. Friends, family, co-workers. And all of us worry about them. We hear it's chaos, that it's dog-eat-dog. -dog. It's civilized there. They have rules and systems and infrastructure, just like we do. Oh, good. Despite what happened, my heart goes out to them. Thank you for taking the time. Interesting. Thanks, Pathfinder. Enjoy your gardening. Botany. Sure. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. Have you ever been trapped with nothing but your own thoughts to keep you company? It's excruciating. I do not experience psychological distress, as you describe it. Do you experience any emotions? No. And I am intrigued as to why you do. You find me intriguing? Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day.
It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that? We'll still have each other, but we want you. I love you, Mom. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. And remember, fall in love at least once. I'll let you guys talk. Say it, Alec. Say it. Then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in N7? When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos, otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. I don't think it's the end. Mom didn't just disappear forever. Where did she go? I don't know. I like to think existence somehow continues. In which case, my failure to save her may not be total. Your father hoped I would cure her. I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. It is the will to continue living. I believe your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. My liberator. Welcome. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give, for now. Your father's personal logs. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. They exposed the whole station to a potentially contagious illness? Yes. We need to keep this quiet and handle it fast. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late.
Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the Sari scientist, Pelisaria Vassail. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on here. This is Agent S. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. Good you're here. Dunn briefed you. Sick person loose on the station is bad enough. I wish that's all there was to it. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage, and she's off-grid. She's a problem. What should I know about this TH314? Stage 1 symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage 2 is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage 3. Airborne, the works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage 1. If she progresses to stage 3, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. We need to make sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. I want to put her well-being above all else, but we have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. This is HNS.